Many pilots get nervous leaning the mixture in flight. It's normal to have concerns about strangling fuel from a perfectly functional engine at first. If you're like me, it might help to get a better understanding of what's going on in the engine when you lean the mixture, and how not leaning it, especially taking off from high density altitude airports, can be much more dangerous than just leaning out. We're at Carbon, Colorado on a very hot day. With the field elevation over a mile and the temperature over 90 Fahrenheit, the density altitude is almost 10,000 feet. Let's have a look at what's going on inside the engine cylinders with the mixture control. Inside the cylinder, fuel and air are mixed together and then ignited by the spark plugs. In order to produce combustion, we need at least a certain amount of fuel in there. At the full rich setting, we have enough fuel in the cylinder plus some extra. The extra fuel works as a coolant, which is especially important at full power settings during takeoff when the engine can be getting its hottest. In fact, most engines will have an extra boost of fuel when the throttle is moved to its full setting, for just this reason. This all works pretty well close to sea level, where the air is dense. But up at altitude, and especially at high density altitude environments, there are fewer air molecules in that cylinder, so the mixture becomes excessively rich. We have enough fuel, but not enough air to produce combustion. Think of covering a candle with a glass. You're starving the fire of oxygen and it'll eventually go out. Leaning the mixture reduces the amount of fuel molecules to match the lesser amount of air molecules in the cylinder. So by reducing the fuel in the cylinder, we can actually increase the power output. So here in Colorado, if we attempt to take off at full rich, which us sea level pilots are taught to do, we develop reduced power. Standing here stationary with our feet on the brakes, we develop about 1900 RPM, barely enough for a takeoff. Releasing the brakes, we start lumbering down the runway. With air moving over the propeller now, it's able to windmill and spin a bit faster, which does actually increase our power output a bit. Still, we struggle to even reach 2000 RPM. We don't reach rotation speed until we're basically at the opposite end of the runway, and then, climbing into the thin air, we don't have the power or performance to outclimb the terrain in front of us. We sort of envy that truck in front of us that's faring better than we are. It's a recipe for disaster. So let's look at how leaning the engine prior to takeoff can help us. This time, we'll be stationary with our feet on the brakes and give it full power. Once again, we're not getting much better than 1900 RPM. But before we release the brakes, we're going to lean the mixture. Right away, we notice a jump in RPM as we correct for the excessively rich mixture. We're looking for our maximum power output. Once we get there, we're going to be on the safe side and just enrich in the mixture a bit, maybe half a twist on the vernier knob. Once we're confident we're developing max power, we'll release the brakes. We're still pretty sluggish getting off the runway, and this is a far from ideal environment to attempt to take off like this, but the leaned out mixture gives us a fighting chance at least to get airborne with enough runway to spare, make a positive rate of climb, and get high enough to make a turnout to avoid terrain. I probably wouldn't attempt this takeoff because it's still way too close to call. Always consult your performance charts in the POH to see if you have the power to make a takeoff given the density altitude. I recommend that any time you're in conditions that you'll be developing less than 75% brake horsepower, you first lean out the engine before takeoff to generate max power. Hopefully you'll be able to see now that a leaned out engine isn't something to be afraid of and at high altitude conditions can actually significantly increase your aircraft performance. Check out Flight Insight Private Pilot Ground School and our other great courses today at the link here and in the description.